Hey guys, this is Eric with Ozone TCG here. Today we're taking a look at a Sun Avalon Therion deck profile, post Dimension Force. Before we get into the actual profile and replays, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, really help the channel out. Let's go ahead and take a look. Alrighty, first off, we have Sunsea Genius Lochi. It's a normal level 1 plant, 0 attack, 600 defense. This actually comes up because your link monsters and some of your extenders actually require a normal monster. Um, in this case, we use extenders. We'll go ahead and take a look at them in just a moment. Um, one of them is Sunsea Twin. You can actually summon this from deck using Sunvine Sewing. So Sunsea Twin, actually, if it's normal or special summon, whether it be from the deck or the hand or the graveyard while you control a sun avalon link monster you can target a level four lower plant monster that's normal in your graveyard and special summon it then second effect somewhat relevant um sometimes not the main effect is the first one though where you can special summon your genus lochi because lochi is actually going to search your sun, sun sunvine sowing sunvine sowing says special summon a sun seed monster from your deck and if you do take a thousand damage if you control no sun avalon link monsters you can only special summon sun seed genius lochi with this effect and it locks you into plant monsters from the extra deck um, also has a nice little uh salaman great bay links effect where you can banish it from the graveyard if a uh, link plant monster would be destroyed without a card effect. You can actually search this card off of one of your link monsters, which we'll get into once we cover the extra deck. But just know, at least for right now, your Sunsea Genius Lochi actually kickstarts your entire combo. So we're effectively playing nine copies of this with a few of the other cards we play. We also have Sun Avalon Bloom, which when this card is activated, if you control a link for a higher plant monster, when this effect resolves, negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls. So that is a searchable skill drain for the deck. Uh, one of your link monsters also searches this card, a different link monster, funny enough. Um, this is a great card to end on. Um, it also has a uh, an attack modulation effect, not too relevant, but the negate is why we play this card. It is very powerful if your combo does resolve, um, and it is a very low commitment. Your single genius Lochi can actually search this at the end of the combo, which will show soon enough. You also play Sunvine Shrine, which activates this by sending a card from the hand of the graveyard, combos with one of the other cards we play. Um, and you can't special summon from the extra deck except plant monsters. Once per turn during your main phase, you can special summon one level four lower plant monster from your graveyard. And once per turn during your opponent's end phase, you can send this face up card to the graveyard and target a continuous trap in the graveyard, set it to your spell and trap zone. So the, the two effects we are looking at are the special summon effect from the graveyard, and the setting effect. Your set effect can actually set your Sun Avalon Bloom or Imperial Order. Um, it's any generic continuous trap. You know, if we had Vanity's Legal, you could set that too. Um, it doesn't matter. It's not too often that this survives if they're able to break your board. Uh, but if it does stay on the board, you have your two Link 4s, at least two Link 4s on the board. Um, and that will go ahead and uh, provide an extra negate for your turn 3 or turn 4. Um, but mainly... You know, Sun Avalon Bloom is the main guy we want to set. Um, Sunvine Shrine is just an extender as well, in case you already have Sunvine Sewing in the hand. Um, yeah, nothing else to say about it. And of course, we have your Lone Fire Blossom, easily the best, the best plant card in the deck uh, because it summons any of your plants from the deck. You can grab it. Um, off of a few of your other monsters, absolutely fantastic card. Evil Thorn we're playing because we play the Sylvan Xyz, the, the rank one, as well as your the Sylvan Link monster. This just gets another copy of itself, really two copies of itself um, from the deck. Uh, really good plus one, um, not much else to say. It's a great extender and that's about it. We have Mardell Generator Boss of Light. So you can only control one, not relevant. If it's normal or special summon, you can add a generator card or plant monster. You can only use effect once per turn. This searches any plant monster in the game, whether it be Evil Thorn, uh, Lone Fire Blossom, any of your Sunseed monsters, or your extender, in this case, Error Mage Laurel. Uh, but Mardell can also search some of your Therion cards, which we'll, uh, we'll cover in just a second. But yeah, Mardell is going to be searching your Therion cards or the next card, Air Mage Laurel, for part of the combo. Laurel says if your life points are higher than your opponent's, you can special summon it from your hand, and if you gain life points, target a non-tuner plant monster. Treat it as a tuner this turn. Um, that second effect's not too relevant. The, the first effect in hand is really good. Um, that is actually why we play it, because we can start off Mardell and special summon it using 
uh, one of your link monsters later and then if it's sent to the graveyard you can gain 500 life points can only use each effect once per turn the third effect also to to gain life points does come up in one of the combo lines which we'll demonstrate later we also play foolish burial foolish burial sends any of your monsters from your deck to your graveyard of course um, this actually just kickstarts some of your therion cards as well as combos with some of your plant monsters um, not super relevant, but it is good enough to actually want to play. Then, of course, we have Therion's Lily Borea. This is the best Therion's monster in this deck. Um, it gets you your field spell. It is also a plant monster, so Lone Fire can special summon it. Your Sylvan Link monster can special summon it, and Mardell can search it. Um, you can also special summon it with uh, Aroma, uh, Aroma Seraphy Jasmine from the deck. Um, this gets your negate. Uh, it's fantastic. Combos with just some of your other cards, sending them to the graveyard. Um, you would never want to play any less than three of this. This is the reason why we play the Therion's Engine. Then we have King Regulus. You guys know what this card does. It's a four load Savage Dragon, but it's not an extra deck monster. Uh, usually a 3,500 attack because you summon it from uh, from the hand, or you can equip it with uh, with Borea or two Borea. Yeah, and we play Bull's Eye, just generic removal. Um, you can target one of your field spells with it to destroy a card in the field. Uh, really good card. I still think it's worth playing as one of, because it's more of a toolbox deck, even though we do, it is combo, but it is a combo toolbox deck because you have a bunch of different tools for each situation. We also play the Leaper Fom. Um, it is a generic bounce. You target one in the spell and trap zone and the card the opponent controls return to the hand. So you'll, you'll, you'll usually bounce your uh, the monster equipped to Leaper Farm, um, as well as one of your opponent's monsters, or if you have one of the trap cards, um, or excuse me, one of the spell cards, uh, not too often that it comes up, or if they ever make a continuous spell for this deck or continuous trap, you know, that's there. Um, that's why we play that card. It's good interruption. Uh, again, toolbox card for sure. Um, then we have Perpetual Engine, uh, our gyro system, and this is a Foolish Burial for Therions. Um, that's also why we play regular Foolish Burial, but this is once per turn. Uh, it has a relevant effect where you can add another Therians card instead of it from the graveyard and put this card on the bottom of the deck. Comes up sometimes, but uh, basically we just use it for the Foolish Burial. Then we have the Therians Ring the Coliseum Saucer. This is the Field Searcher. Uh, it is a fantastic card. You search this with uh, Borea, and yeah, it searches your generic monsters, protects your monsters from battle by dumping Therion's cards into the deck and you can grab them back if uh, if a monster is a short battle instead of the graveyard. Um, it is like a fake Rota, but it is a fantastic card. We play this again for Borea, searches Regulus, and then Regulus can target your Borea because you can use your Borea as link material. And then it's just a free negate. And then we have Unexpected Die because you play Sunsea Genius Loshi. Uh, this is a free summon, really your free, you know, up to, five or six monsters you can summon off of one card uh, depending on your luck with excavations uh, can be done without the normal summon it is incredible uh, I don't see a reason not to play three um, because it kickstarts everything and that is through Nibiru as well um, yeah it's a really good card and then the last six cards your hand traps ash blossom and impermanence I think these are the best two hand traps in the game right now ash is always gonna be relevant because it is such a generic card same with impermanence it is basically a better Valor now. Um, it is Valor for, uh, for 2018 when it came out, now 2022. Uh, yeah, absolutely great main deck. There are some other tech cards you can play, but we can always get into those in another video. Right now, this is just the main deck that we're playing, at least for this test build. Alrighty, guys, now we have the extra deck. We have Sun Avalon Dryas. So it requires a level four or lower plant monster, completely generic otherwise. If it's Link Summon the Extra Monster Zone using Sunseed Genus Lochi's material, you can add a Sunvine Spell or Trap from your deck, and it can't be targeted for attacks, uh, attacks, but does not prevent your opponent from attacking directly. That's a pretty generic um, effect that all these Sun Avalon monsters have. And once per turn, if you take battle or effect damage, you can gain that much life points, and especially when one Sunvine monster from your extra deck. So the main thing we want to use is Sunseed Genus Lochi because we do want to add Sunseed Sewing, um, which acts as your uh, Sunseed Twins. And then, uh, yeah, Link Climbs from there. It is a fantastic card. This is the best Link one in the deck. Um, it's really probably the best Link monster that this deck plays, but 
I, there's a lot of competition there. These cards are absolutely insane for toolbox effects. Next up we have Sunvine Healer, which actually combos with your Sun, uh, Sun Avalon Dryas. Requires a plant normal, uh, plant normal monster, and then if a Sun Avalon Link monster you control leaves the field by effect, destroy it, not relevant. If it's a special summon, you can target a Sun Avalon Link monster on the field, gain that many life points equal to Link rating times 300. Um, other effect, the, the life point gain otherwise does not matter, but we can actually summon this off of Dryas in one of the combos because Sunseed Sowing inflicts damage to you, which triggers Dryas effect. You gain that many life points back, so you'll be back at 8,000. And then you special summon Sunvine Healer, which gains an additional 300 life points, which combos with your uh, Aroma Seraphite Jasmine in a little bit. Um, we also have Sunvine Thrasher, uh, same materials, a uh, one plant normal monster. So again, Sunseed Genius Lochi, pretty generic we just play this for the down arrow usually sometimes the um, the attack gain helps uh, it doesn't really matter too much uh, but we just play it just in case and then we have sun avalon dryanome it requires two or more plant monsters it is a link three uh, typical sun avalon uh, text is that it can't be targeted for text does not prevent your opponent from attacking directly three times per turn if you take battle or effect damage you can gain that many life points and if you do special summon one sunbind monster from your extra deck um, so you can summon your thrasher from here and really it just gets you a bit of attack bonuses so it goes to a link four uh, for free in that regard and then if a monster it points to is targeted for attack you can neg negate the attack and then move it to another main monster zone not super relevant effect but it is nice and then we have sun avalon melius which sun avalon melius says two plus play monsters including a link monster um, kind of like ningirisu or uh, draco berserker of the tenyi requiring uh, monsters um, and if it's link summon you can special summon a sunseed genius lochi from the graveyard so again it's a free link four because this is a link three um, sun avalon claws once per turn target a sunvine link monster points to can attack any number of times the battle phase up to the number of sun avalon link monsters you currently control sometimes can be used for otk potential but not super relevant otherwise and finally we have sun avalon dryad trentier which requires two plus link monsters. It is a link four, very good arrows, Apaloos arrows. If it's link summon, add a Sun Avalon Spell or Trap. The only Sun Avalon Spell or Trap in the game right now is Sun Avalon Bloom. That is your generic skill drain, uh, typical Sun Avalon text. And then once per turn, you can contribute a link monster points to destroy any number of cards your opponent controls up to that monster's link rating. If you destroy, or if you tribute rather, one of your link fours or link twos, you can destroy four or two cards respectively. Really good card. We do play two because you can search um, your Sun Avalon Bloom more than once. This is not once per turn at all. This is not a hard one per turn. It's just if it's Link Summoned. If you have a way to get to your uh, second Dry Trentier, uh, you can search another one for a follow up turn or whatever. Very good card overall. Um, now we have the generic plant monsters. First of all, we have Peone, the Sylvan Dancer. This is my favorite card from Dimension Force personally. It requires two plant monsters. Sylvan is my favorite theme overall. Um, I absolutely love this card. It is fantastic just for plants in general. It, uh, it It's so good. I can't tell you, this is not a secret rare in the TCG version. Uh, TCG version of Dimension Force. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, two plant monsters. If it's Link Summon, you can excavate up to three cards from the top of your deck. Then you can special summon up to two excavated plant monsters. They can't be used as Link material. And then you send the rest of the cards to the graveyard. Combos with Sylvan cards. Combos with any plant cards. Generic. Um, can summon any plant monsters that you know, can normally be special summoned by any effect, whatever. Um, summons your Boria, Lone Fire, Sunseed Genius Lochi, Sunseed Twin, Evil Thorn, Mardell, Aeromage Laurel, any plant monster. It is probably the best plant Link 2 in the game, um, especially Link 2 or higher, at least. Um, even contending with the next card, Roma Seraphy Jasmine. Again, two plant monsters. You can tribute a monster points to. Any monster doesn't have to be a plant. And then special summon a plant monster from your deck of defense. You can summon Borea. Usually we'll summon Mardell though. Um, and then if you gain life points, you can actually add a plant monster, which is why we use Aramage Laurel. You can gain life points and search your uh, Lily Borea um, or any of your extenders for the next turn. That's the possibility. Again, super toolbox. Um, also enables our link climb. Next, we have Bangalancer, the Resurgent. This is a kind of a fake uh, Altargeist, uh, Silquidus. Um, you take damage, which combos with some of your Sun Avalon cards. 
Um, take damage equal to a targeted effect monster the opponent controls, return, and then return it to hand. And if it's the graveyard, you can banish two or more link monsters from the graveyard, whose combined link ratings equal exactly four, so you're one in threes, two in twos. Um, summon it, banish the field. You can only use one effect per turn, and only one set turn, so you can't use the bounce and revival effect once per turn. They usually use the bounce effect on their turn, revive it. Uh, on your turn and tribute it off with uh, Dry Trentier and uh, yeah, uh, clear their board. Um, very powerful card effects. Uh, next up we have Sylvan Princess Sprite. Uh, if you guys played in Spiral format, you would you would know this card. This is a fantastic card. Came out in Maximum Crisis. Generic rank one. Uh, any two cards. This is another really good card for uh, Sylvans and plant supports in general. Detach any material from this card. Excavate the top card of your deck. If it's a spell or trap, add to the hand. Otherwise, send it to the graveyard. Complex some of your Therion cards puts them in the graveyard or just adds one of your spells or traps in the hand um then you can send uh summon a silver monster not super relevant um but it's fine you know it's a pretty good card otherwise we have i'll say the sylvan high protector um this is a generic a rank eight and once per turn you can declare the top card excavate it if it's the card um and then otherwise you uh, bounce it you bounce a card in the field very good card uh, place it on top of the deck. Uh, just generic removal has a high defense value. Really good card otherwise. Um, not much else to say. It does combo actually with Lily Boria because it is a level 8 as well as your Regulus is also a level 8. Um, Peone can actually copy levels as well so you can make your uh, two monsters Peone points to level 8s. They don't necessarily have to always be level 8s. Uh, just really good effect otherwise. We also have Teardrop for the same reason. Um, it gains a quick effect. Um, normally, its regular effect is is a, is an ignition effect, but if it has plant as material, then you can use it as a quick effect. Um, you target after detaching a material from it, target a monster the opponent controls, and tribute it. It can be any card in the field. Usually, you'll tribute your opponent's monsters, of course. Um, but yeah, it becomes a quick effect. Um, we play all plants. You have Borea. If you have Load Fire, any of your materials under it becomes a quick effect. It's just more removal. Really good card. It does not destroy. It does not banish. So it plays around Lancia and cards that can't be destroyed. Chunging, for example. Um, one of the Sword Soul uh, level 10 synchros. Fantastic card. Yeah, so this is the main and extra deck portion. Side deck, of course, can depend on it. We're going to go ahead and show off some replays showing what Genius Lochi can do on its own, as well with a one card extender as well. Take a look. Alrighty guys, we have our first replay. This is going to be our one card combo. So you can either have Sunsea Genius Lochi or Unexpected Die. Honestly, Unexpected Die is probably better than just hard drawing the Genius Lochi because it doesn't use the normal summon and you can still normal summon afterwards, uh, even if you get Nibiru or Hand Trapped or anything like an Extender. But we're just going to showcase it with just Genius Lochi. So of course we normal summon and in this case. We're going to go ahead and summon our um, Dryas and Dryas is going to search our Sunseed Sewing. Then Sewing is going to activate, summon our Sunseed Twin. So, and then you inflict a thousand to yourself. So then Dryas activates its Chain Link 1. It doesn't really matter if you use Chain Link 1 Dryas or Chain Link 2 Dryas. Um, in this case, it's just going to be Chain Link 1 Dryas, Chain Link 2 Twin, Twin Target Lochi, of course. Summon Lochi and then summon Healer. Sun Healer activates. Um, to go ahead and gain 300 life points. You're at 8,300 at this point. And then we're going to actually summon uh, Aroma Seraphy Jasmine. And Jasmine will then tribute our Sun uh, Sunsea Twin to summon Mardell from the deck. And then Mardell searches our Arrow Mage Laurel. And then Laurel can spot some because you have more life points than your opponent. And then you can go into your Sunvine um, Thrasher as part of the combo. Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and summon Melius. Um, you don't necessarily have to do this. There is another Link Monster you can play instead. However, Melius in this case is just going to go ahead and revive our Sunseed uh, Genius Lochi for free to go ahead and get that Link 4. And then um, it's going to be Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, Laurel uh, to gain life points. And then after this resolve, Jasmine will go ahead and activate. That will actually search our Lily, Ar uh, Lily Borea. Um, this is actually you access your entire engine. And again, remember, this is off of one card. And then next we're going to go ahead and go to our Dry Trentier. Um, Dry Trentier is going to get our Bloom. So this is a generic negate, of course, as mentioned before. 
Um, and then we get your free monster. Um, and then Lily Boria can actually send any card. It doesn't have to be a Therion's card itself. It doesn't have to be a monster. It doesn't have to be a spell or trap specifically. It can be any card on the field or in the hand. In this case, we're going to go ahead and use the on field effect to add our Colosseum Saucer and activate it to get our King Regulus. King Regulus is going to go ahead and target our Boria in Graveyard um, because it, it, if it survives, you get another surge for the next turn. And then, yeah, there you go. Uh, this is a fantastic, powerful board. Again, one card combo. You can have three defensive cards, three or four defensive cards, or you know, your normal summon or unexpected die plus your extender. Uh, it, it, it is extremely powerful. Um, we're gonna go ahead and show another card, uh, another a two card combo in this case right afterwards, but this is probably the best play in the deck, the least commitment for getting a pretty powerful board in general. Alrighty guys, we have our two card combo here. This is specifically going to use Evil Thorn, but it could also be Lone Fire Blossom in this case, um, just to summon your Evil Thorn from the deck. This is actually why we play Evil Thorn specifically for this two card combo. Um, this does need Unexpected Die, um, but it is a very potent two card combo. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we're gonna activate Unexpected Die first, Let's do the standard one card play, um, get your Sun Seed, uh, summon, summon a bunch of your plant monsters, uh, go ahead and add uh, Laurel of course, it's again all pretty standard, only differentiating factor is near the end, um, yeah you can actually do this, you can also play your third Dryas instead of the two um, Dryas Trentier, it doesn't really matter, you only need to summon one, um, two is just for the turn two play where you can uh, you know, tribute your other dry Trentier to, <laughs> to destroy uh, up to four cards. Sometimes comes up, sometimes doesn't. Um, just up to what you like more. And then we do the Borea, of course. Borea gets Regulus, and Regulus doesn't interfere with our other monsters, thankfully. Um, again, this is where you summon your second thorn, um, your, rather your other two thorns, and then it actually makes your link four. So you're gonna actually summon Bangalancer here. So you also have a bounce. Uh, it is a very strong field. You can set this, of course, your, your Sun Avalon Bloom. Um, so you have one interruption, two interruptions, three interruptions off of, again, just two cards. Even the one card combo, you get an additional interruption. Um, it's a pretty favorable trade overall. Um, again, you can play three defensive cards in this case, or, you know, another two extenders, one defensive card, um, two defensive cards, one extender, anything like that. A very powerful card. Yeah, uh, if you guys enjoy this content, again, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it, dislike it. We will be showing off this deck more as the format develops, especially in the TCG. Um, yeah, look forward to it. This is Eric with those on TCG. See you guys in the next one.